What's up guys? In this video, you will learn how to build a production-ready machine learning dashboard using Streamlit and Docker. Let's get to it. Let's build a web application in Python that plots cryptocurrency prices, expresses open, high, low, close candles every 10 seconds. And for that, we will use the following tools. Streamlit to build our front-end app using Python without having to know any JavaScript. Python Poetry to package our Python code professionally, and Docker to containerize our app and ease the deployment to the production platform. This web app is not plotting a static data set, but live data generated by a real-time feature pipeline. This real-time feature pipeline is ingesting raw data from Kraken, is transforming it into open, high, low, close candles, and then storing it in a serverless feature store. From there, our dashboard is fetching the data. So let's get to it. These are the four steps to build this production-ready dashboard. Step one, create the project structure. We will use Python Poetry to create our project structure. You can install it for free with this one-liner. And once installed, you go to the command line and type Poetry New to generate the following file structure. You cd into the folder you just created and you run poetry install. With this command, you create the virtual environment and also install your local package source in editable mode. Step two, build the UI using Streamlit. First, you need to install Streamlit inside your virtual environment with poetry add, and then add a new file, which we're gonna call main.py file in your project. This is the script that will define our UI. So at the top of this file, you need to import, of course, Streamlit, then any third-party dependencies, for example, pandas, and then local dependencies that we will implement in our source folder. Then you can start building your web app using the Streamlit API. So for example, you can add a header, a markdown block, a data frame container, or a bokeh chart without knowing any JavaScript. Once you have the UI in place, you add a while loop that is constantly retrieving the latest data from the feature store and is refreshing the contents of the UI widgets. Step three, extract non-UI functionality into separate files. It's best practice to keep your Streamlit app as lightweight as possible and define non-UI logic in separate files. This way, your code is modular and easy to test. In this case, we have defined our get features function that gets the data from the feature store in a separate file called backend.py, which in turn uses another local file we have created, feature store API, that handles low level communication with the feature store. Once you have the UI and the backend services in place, you can spin up your app with poetry run stream it run. And it's great because it works locally, but that's not enough. And this takes us to step four, dockerize your app. So far, you have a working app locally. However, to make sure that your app will work as expected once deployed in the production environment, you need to containerize it using Docker. So the first step is to add a Docker file, which is going to define the Docker image. This is a complete specification of the environment where your application is going to run. So in this case, our Docker file starts from a base layer, which supports Python 3.10, installs some system-wide dependencies, in this case, a C++ compiler, because one of our Python dependencies requires C++ compiling, sets some environment variables that we need. Then we copy the file with the dependencies, requirements.txt file. We install the dependencies. Then we copy the rest of the code. And then we start our Streamlit app. This is the entry point. From this Docker file, you can create a Docker image using docker build command. And from that image, you can spin up a container using the docker run command. To run this container, we need to pass a couple of secrets, which are environment variables that we specify in this .m file. And also we need to do port mapping, which means we need to map the internal port 80 from inside the Docker container to port 80 from outside in the host where you run the Docker container. So your Streamlit app is accessible from outside the Docker container. And once you have a containerized app that works locally, 
you are done because this is the magic of Docker. If it works on your laptop, it also works in production. And that's it for today, guys. I really hope you learned something new. And if you want to get more hands-on content on machine learning and machine learning operations, subscribe to this channel.